My point of view always is a technical point of view. Um, and uh, technicals can help us to see uh, the cycle of the markets and the business cycle actually. So um, it's like that we are checking uh, a lot of um, markets together. Uh, it's like that we are checking the stock exchange on, on the charts and to see if it's a potential pop. So if there is one, uh, means that uh, the stock exchanges uh, are doing well, uh, the economy is on fire, so that's why we need to, re to increase the interest rates. So increasing the interest rates, it's inevitable that the stock exchanges will go down because you have more expensive uh, money in order to support your expansion. So uh, immediately after, uh, we have the commodities going down because we don't produce, we don't need to produce that much. So that's why in order to uh, spot the top of the market, we are checking these three uh, sectors. Stock exchanges, interest rates, or the futures of the bonds is the same thing, so which is actually more countable. And then we check the commodities. So uh, of course, this is a fundamental approach, but we are using the charts in order to... Um so technical analysis is a, is a huge question. Uh, allow me to answer it indirectly now using a typical, uh, uh, let's say, definition, uh, which says um, it's a study of market action. And what do you mean market action? Shumana, what do you mean market action? Huh? Movement of prices. Movement of prices, right? Because the markets are not moving, right? So that's why if they are acting, the only thing that is acting are the prices. So that's why we check the prices through the charts, right? In order to forecast something. And now I have three lines. The one is going to be the MAPT, the other one is going to be the moving average of the MAPT, and the other one is going to be the difference between the MAPT and this moving average. Mm. It's a, where, which one do you think that is the MAPT on the upper chart? We have three lines. The one is going to be the MAPT. The highest. The highest one is the MAPT. If we have, let's say, a big <coughs> movement now, right? So the movement started already, and it's going down, right? Started from here, maybe. It's coming, it's crossing its moving average, it's coming down all the way, and now it's somewhere here, right? So, and then even here. So now what's happening? We have high volatility. It's moving very fast. Mm -hmm. The standard deviation is gonna be big numbers, so that's why the bands are opening like this. So, but the prices are around, the, actually, the lower band, it's around, the prices, and it's opening like this. And, the, and we say, actually he said, so that the bands are opening now, and the prices are walking the bands. To be honest, the prices are moving, and then I draw the Bolliger bands there, right? But, you know, sometimes we, we make it to be nice, right? So, the prices are walking the bands when we have a big movement down, or a big <coughs> movement up. So this means that we have an increase of the volatility and the standard deviation. If this is happening, then we check the upper band, right? The time that the bands are gonna go, they're gonna do this flattening and then closing, means that somewhere here, we are losing power. You understand what I mean? So that's why, even if it's gonna be a red one, it's gonna be very close to the previous close. Even if it's gonna be a red one, eh, when we are losing high volatility, it's not a big standard deviation now, so this still, because the moving average is moving down, like this, so the standard deviation is going to be smaller and it's going to drag, drag this one downwards on the drawing. So that's why first it's flattening and then it's going down. And we call it hook. Right? So, and if this hook is happening, it's going to be and bounce up for two, three days. And this is 95% accurate. That's why people love polygon bands. says correction means period of panic. You understand what I mean? So that's why if there is no panic, there is no correction. If there is no correction, there is not nothing to forecast. 
Do you understand what I mean? Which means that now, if I am on this case and I saw that this is what is happening mainly, and now it's coming down, most probably my guy with the one million share is going to say, ho, 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 I'm going to buy cheaper. Let them fight. Let them be panicked. Why? Because I know that after the panicking period, after the correction, the prices are going higher. Why? Because this is what's happening before. That's the history of the thing. And then it's coming to a panic, and it's going higher. Now it's coming to a panic. Wow. I'm going to buy the bottom. What is the bottom? The end of the panic. What's happening here? So big black candlesticks. The market is collapsing. Then there's more white. But nothing happened actually during the day. And then another one, another one. And we go like this. So, so those boxes. So when you see them, the first thing that you do is that where is the open? And where is the close? So if it's a black one, you say it's a bad day. It's a heavy day, right? And immediately you remember that something is falling, right? So then you say the open is there and it's falling up to this close. So that's why it's not a good day, right? That's, that's the only thing that I want you to remember from this chart in team, right? And then let's see the other combinations. So if we draw this line now, we call it spiral. That is going through all the 61.8%, it's going to be like this. So now this one, it's a golden spiral. See? Okay. This, so it's a golden spiral. Right? So when you check, let's say, this part on the, on the horn, actually, it's a golden spiral. So the waves are golden spirals with the opposite side, right? So this one is called Nautilus in the sea. This, it's a golden spiral. Right? So it's like that the whole Earth, the whole universe, is made out of this 0 0.618 and the golden spirals. So that means when we spot an uptrend, buy and hold it. But sometime, it's going to come like this. Now, buy and hold it? What's the strategy here? What kind of trend do we have here? Downtrend. Now we have the downtrend. So that means if we are in a downtrend, means that you sell everything when you have, this is the, we call it all time high. This is the top one. This is a top two, this is a bottom one, and this is a bottom two. So what I'm saying today, I will start with charts. Okay? On the charts, we are going to see when this market is going to go down. In order to sell, this is going to go down. I mean, we don't care why the euro now is, is flying, right? And maybe an answer is that because the dollar is going down, right? So that's why the euro, euro dollar is began. So, but I will show you at the end of the seminar, what do you check? Actually, as I observed from your test, those things about the oscillators and lines and formulas, uh, most of you don't know a lot, right? So that's why this is going to be the second part, right? But the first part is going to be understandable. It's going to be a little bit basic. It's going to be something that you will agree, maybe, right? Because it's human self.